Hello and welcome to Craft with Afshin. Today I will be turning a Christmas tree uh, ornamental. Um, I've seen a lot of people uh, turn uh, something for Christmas, so I thought I might as well um, try out. I haven't done one of these, but it should be fairly simple. Um, what I plan to do, I mean, I, I obviously don't know the the shape yet, but from because it's uh, Christmas ornamental, I guess it, it, they always look like a bowl or something. So what I got in mind is like a round shape and then some textures here also I've got a bit of a scrap uh, acrylic it was part of a pen really nice texture uh, orangish color with black and I think this would complement this uh, bobinga so I will have it on a uh, jaws later I guess turn this round much smaller round and I will hollow it a little bit uh, at the end here and then I, and then I'm gonna um, uh, super glue this in there I'll make sure it's a tight fit so yeah and then after this super glued and is uh, ready then I'll uh, shape it again to, to match the uh, I guess uh, the shape that I do on the wood so it's like uh, at the bottom is like different yeah I, I'll figure out what shape to do because I was thinking first to do a round like a round uh, belting bell shape or but because it has textures I think like something narrow to, to the point would be better yeah but we'll see I hope you guys those of you who do turn turn something for Christmas you know hang it from your tree <laughs> or whatever Or it's also a good gift idea, I guess. So I'm going to uh, shape it with my roughing gouge. Um, make it round first. Have a tenon on one side. Then, then uh, fit it on the uh, uh, jaws. And then we'll shape, shape the rest. So guys, while I was doing that, I just realized maybe we could even do a um, captive ring. <laughs> it might be too much. <laughs> but if we could do the captive ring, and if I'm going to do a captive ring, um, I also want to do a, a wire inlay. <laughs> Uh, I think I think it would look nice. Yeah, why just go simple? I guess <laughs> we'll spend more time on it, and maybe it, it looks better. Yeah.
so I just did a 11 millimeter hole for the uh, I guess the bottom bottom uh, acrylic part which is 15 15 mil so I just need a little bit taking off and then it should fit easily all right guys as you can see I've um, glued uh, this acrylic piece into this bubinga as you saw it's it was um, 15 millimeter diameter tenon on on this at the start I was using this side but because I couldn't get a good tight uh, fit here I just flipped it over and did the same thing on the other side and as you can see there's no gap here that's what I wanted to avoid so I don't have to go down to that 15 to get a uh, nice um, contrast between wood and acrylic if you get what I mean I want it to be able to have a thicker uh, diameter over here and it's glued I might have made the <laughs> I might have made the ball a bit too sm too small, but the thing is, the diameter need needed to be bigger. Otherwise, it wouldn't it would have looked like a egg. So that's that's why I went with this diameter, and it will con. Uh, it will go a bit bigger here so it's not that small I guess but I will make this thin so it wouldn't look out of proportion I guess thing is over here has to be a bit bigger bigger than the diameter we got we got here right now so that the captive ring won't go out but other than that <coughs> I will shape it down nicely so 
Ah, yeah. So we're going to, I'm going to try and do a um, wire inlay here now. With this old chisel that I had, I grind it down to uh, um, 0 0.5 mil same size as the as the wire I'll use brass so I was gonna use copper but it would look kind of the same as the bubinga when it gets polished so I'm going to use brass I think that's good enough. Okay, I've got my brass wire. So, what I'll do is I've put some CA there. gently so the hole uh, you know the groove that you put that's the important part it needs to be exact size exact diameter of your of your wire otherwise if it's too big you're not going to be able to do this it has to be the same just tap on it because the groove if you think about it is 90 degree and you're you're play, placing a round so if you tap it and it, it might get expanded in there careful with the you don't want any in your eyes so wear uh, eye protection and a respirator but because I need to talk to you guys I'm not wearing it I'm gonna let that dry. I don't want any stress on it. I'll let that dry and then I'll sand it so to, to make the surface uh, uh, same height as the brass because the groove is a little bit too deep. 
little bit, not that much. It's like maybe half a millimeter. I want it to be flat, and some of the um, I want some of the CA to be sanded off. Yeah. If not, I'll just finish it by CA. I guess, but I don't have CA activator. This is not uh, the one with the activator. I have one in the post coming with the one with the activator. So so I can't do CA finish on this. I unfortunately. But I hope this will come off. You know. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Sanded this a bit. Now I'm going to shape the edges, make it nice and round. And then I'll do a final sand. Then we'll part it off. That looks all right to me. Now I'll sand it and then we'll come back and we part off the the captive ring. All right guys, as you can see, I've uh, rounded, sanded and finished this now. I'm ready to um, part off to say it's a captive ring tool I've got I used to use a my own made wrench but because I want to do a lot of these I figured I'll just buy buy one with a nice grind like that because I can't get get I couldn't get like that so I was and en ended up using too much force you know so let's see how this goes and then later on I'll do I'll do one in a goblet as well maybe with the inlay <laughs> I'm getting I'm actually getting the hang of it now it's not that hard What I realize is I can finish a bit more on this on the edges because after it's parted I wouldn't get to do that so I finished this using my friction polish so I'm going to do that again So it's best to do it now than than to have a dull dull one at the Okay, I got it. I got a masking tape around it. This is not gonna 
come off I'm not gonna do anything on it to come off so it, it should hold it I'm just gonna shape here clean this up and then do the same thing on the on this side Okay, you know, while this is um, taped, I'm going to sand this up to there. So that's done up to there, and then we move on down so I don't have to do it again. Oh. I'll try to stick it again. <laughs> ah.
So as you can see, I have the shape I want, and I've sent it to 600. But for this acrylic, I've got a acrylic paste, which is abrasive. It will sand it down and buff it as well and finish it as well. So it's really good for acrylic pens and stuff like that. I always use it. It really brings out the color. You'll see in a sec how good this paste is. I, I, I couldn't believe it the first time I used it. See, there's no scratch at all on it, but I should do a better job. <laughs> I feel like this is the 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 CA. So I'm going to sand this again. Get these off. Yeah. So guys, this is basically it. So I'm going to finish this now because this is getting way too long I'm going to finish this now and I'll come back after it's done you basically saw what I did you know I'm going to apply Moco crystalline wax to all of it and I'll be back when it's done and I've parted it off to save us time There we have it guys, finally <laughs> done. As you can see, I've made some changes at the last minute. Uh, I decided I don't want it rounded. I used some of the uh, scrap wood uh, uh, that was in the chalk to shape this, to shape it like a cone shape down. I think this, this shape would be better now because of the long um, the long part here otherwise it it look it looked uh, really odd to me so what do you think about this <laughs> captive ring um, Christmas tree or ornamental with the brass inlay I like this uh, acrylic, it's really nice, fiery, that's it for this video, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, 
I might not uh, be uploading um, so that's why I wanted to tell you guys earlier um, have fun with your family and friends uh, and I wish you all the best thank you for supporting me this uh, this year uh, we went through a lot of uh, projects and I hope you all enjoyed them and there will be more next year and hopefully this year <laughs> before it ends if I get time but if I don't um, I'll, I'm sure you guys will understand so yeah thank you all for watching please hit the like button and comment below and I'll talk to you guys on the next video take care everyone